Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 is India. So before we start playing today, there is uh, uh, like one thing they would like to talk about briefly. Uh, it's a change in my usual schedule. Every week I take one day off. Uh, it's Saturday, but this time before Christmas I have some more things that I have to take care of. So I will need uh, to take uh, like two days. So this will be uh, the last episode until Sunday. I should be able to start recording again on the normal schedule uh, from Sunday onwards. So it's just basically one extra day off that I'll be taking. But I wanted you guys to know that uh, the gap this time will be a little bit longer. So that's one thing. And then one more thing before we start playing. Uh, again, about the trade routes. Uh, I know that the trade routes are important. Uh, I'm not uh, like arguing that, of course, having trade routes would be huge. But once again, up until now, there really wasn't a safe way how to get them. And also, we didn't have the window where when to build it. It's not like we can get uh, a cargo ship every, I don't know, two turns. So I needed to build uh, all the tourism buildings, the research buildings, and... Uh, um, we didn't know that we are going to steal 50,000 gold from Mongolia to speed everything up. Now when we have more information and when Mongolia basically conquered, conquered the whole new world, uh, that opens up more options because we can send our cargo ships to Mongolia this way. We don't have to go through America and Brazil. It's still not safe because of uh, LA and Seattle. Uh, there are definitely ships, American ships here. So during the war, there will always be the chance that they catch our cargo ships. But it's a long trade route, so it's definitely not guaranteed. While, of course, trying to send a trade route here or caravan that would get uh, uh, destroyed like 100%, right? Uh, which means once we are done with some of the buildings that we are working on, we will get the four remaining trade drones, send them all to Mongolia. That will help us getting uh, influence over them. And uh, once we end the war with Brazil, we will try to get influence over Brazil uh, with musicians. So we'll like divide our resources we'll uh, we'll we'll um, get influence over one of them with musicians over the other one with trade routes and some other bonuses because to mongolia can we check it here where is it uh here let me check the bonuses is it there open borders more happiness uh bonus from boredom in their empire but there should be one more modifier we didn't get yet oh wait we don't have the second uh, level to tenant right and uh, we we'll also get uh, the culture revolution so it's another 34 percent multiplier so the tourism to, to them should be pretty decent yeah and what i should check is here can we even see it the game can't even calculate that yeah, it's, um, it's actually bugged. For some reason, I can see it here. Influential in 22 turns, assuming tourism output remains unchanged. But for the other saves, I can't see it. 21 turns here. It only like shows me when I'm pretty close. Here, we are already over. But here, we are just too far off. And the, the game, like won't calculate that I'm like, I don't know, 600 turns away or something like that, which of course will have to change. We'll have to get more, more modifiers. Um, fine, what are we doing? Agribusiness, research lab, stadium. What do we need to get in Delhi still? These two, that's for sure. Fire service would be nice. How much money do we have? 4,000, so we are not paying for it. Yeah, how am I gonna squeeze in the, the cargo ships? I have no idea. I think I'll have to do it here. Actually, only three turns. That's not that bad. I expected like five or six. Uh, four. 
How long will it take to build it in the capital, by the way? Two. Okay, fine. Let's just queue up one in the capital. I'll just give it the high priority. There, so that's chillin'. This takes forever. What about you? This is probably gonna be even worse. Yeah, it's also four turns. Hmm. What is Mumbai missing? Not that much. Okay, fine. Let's get two cargo ships here. There we go. So now we are on the cap. And we can start playing. I still don't think that um, we will like complete more than like one in eight. Most of them will still get pillaged, but uh, at least they won't get pillaged instantly. So we should have some multipliers with Mongolia most of the time. We should be able now to keep replacing the ships. Okay, good luck taking the city-state with one field gun. Uh, by the way, you guys recommended that I should maybe get some submarines. I probably should, but <laughs> when? How long would it take to build a sub? Eight turns. What do I need to buy? The seaport? Yeah, it's not gonna happen. How are our spies doing? Can we just steal some money, perhaps? How much? Uh, yeah, he has 100,000. We just need to steal that, and then we won't have to worry about anything. I still can't. Actually, I can start working on the repairs, I think. I'll just need to send someone to cover the workers Actually, it's probably better to fix the uh, the citadel first anything else up here Hmm, fine, let's just lock these tiles for now. I'm not even sure that it's worth replacing the workboats. Well, 470 gold, maybe it is. Workboat, workboat. Uh, I won't bother with the oil, though. We have more than enough. Uh, 18 is more than enough. I don't want to, like, maybe eventually rely on a strategic resource that can be easily taken away from me uh, when war starts. So I won't even bother improving it. Next. That is brave. I'd be able to lure some more ironclads here when I move my cruisers out. Okay, this is important. Because um, this shows us where are we getting the 50% uh, uh, modifier to our tourism. And Pedro is nowhere near 100%. That's good news. And how is Mongolia doing? Down to 45. Mm, 45 is more than I expected. We need him under 35 because then he's going to be so busy uh, trying to hold everything together that he probably won't have time for anything else. Washington is around 50%. That's nice. Darius is in a surprisingly bad shape. Okay. Good to know. Now, let's check the cities that we can trade with. There's only one city that we can reach from here. One Mongolian city, that is. Uh, so, 
I will have to mute. It's on the wrong side, even. Hmm. Wait, how do we get the extra range for um, cargo ships? Well, we'll check the the options next turn again. Mongolia launched a sneak attack against one of my cities. Really? Well, that's bad news. Like, really bad news. Uh, which one was that? This one. Well, worst case scenario, if he sends like really large fleet, we just get a nuke it. Hopefully he doesn't declare this turn. Maybe if I send um, some cargo ships, he's going to change his mind. Uh, you don't even have a broadcast tower yet. How much damage can I do? Well, that was stupid. Okay, I messed up, never mind. Please, Mongolia, don't declare on me. I guess I'm just gonna keep the cargo ships in Mumbai and we wait out this war. Hopefully, when it ends, we'll be able to trade with him for a while. Not evacuated. Um, hmm. So we are at war with both the saves that um, are our competitors. No one else is really relevant. I can't steal from Brazil. I can't get anything from Persia. 
I guess I'll just send this guy. Send them to Washington as a diplomat. He still needs training. Go. And this war with Mongolia started much, much earlier than I thought it would. I knew that eventually he's gonna start the war. Because so when the ads realized that you have a chance to win that or you that you are close to winning uh they do anything they can to stop it but i just didn't expect him to start now this early Okay, we have another research lab. Oh, here, I do have one factory that I can't finish. Okay, let's build a stock exchange instead. You're gonna build me a research lab. We'll just wait, see what uh, the Mongols want to do. And one more thing that uh, I wanted to mention. Someone uh, said in comments why I deleted the diplomat last time, uh, that I could have used him and at least get the flat yields from him and you are right i just forgot about the yield so i should have just sent him basically anywhere uh use him and get would be a little bit of gold culture and uh, probably i think it's golden age points the last yield it's not like a huge difference like 450 points at this point so not the end of the world but it was definitely a mistake Do -do -do. So tempting getting that merchant and also very brave send an unescorted merchant. He's probably heading for Mogadishu. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to catch him unless he changes his travel plans. Uh, the destroyers are not as tough. So I expect them to be. This one is tough. Okay, next.
He's just gonna pillage everything. Yeah, it's as far as I'm willing to go. Going after the merchant, that's a trap. Come on, I thought I ended the turn. I was waiting for a new turn and nothing was happening. Fortify everyone. Go. Um, we'll probably have to focus on aircraft. We don't really have room for enough units. I could maybe sell the cruisers, get submarines instead. But it's not gonna change that much. The thing is, aircraft don't count towards the supply cap. So we can get as many as we can uh, put into our cities. Which right now is two per city. We would have to get... Uh, we would have to get... Um, airports to be able to get to five. Should be safe. How fast are you? Eight. Never mind. Two, four, six. But he should be able to get past the city. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holy moly. But this tile should be safe, I think. Okay, how are our spies doing? So he finished the Manhattan project, but uh, he won't get a nuke from it. Actually, it took him quite a while to get to it. There is a merchant. Uh, we want to move the Aegar from the coast. And here we can start fixing the oil. Okay, merchant. Let's get the money. Fortify, fortify, fortify. How much are we working with now? 6600. We get from the military academy plus one supply cap that's useful <coughs> excuse me okay let's get the military academy And I did have one city that uh, had a seaport, right? 
Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. 2000 for one sub. That's pretty expensive, though. I'm gonna do it. I just don't have time to build subs and uh, planes. How long is it gonna take to build a bomber? Six turns. We need... Currently we can have nine of them, because the nuke, I think, counts as a plane. Well, let's just start making them. You don't have a research lab and a stock exchange. Well, those are more important. Go. Nope, not trading my oil with anybody. It is very easy for the Mongols to pillage uh, my oil. So I don't want to risk that suddenly I would end up without access to what's probably most important resource uh, for now. Successful assassination. Well, not exactly what I wanted. I want to steal gold, but I'll take it. Now, the Congress. We need one vote for... Look at that, we lost, I think, like two votes. Uh, space, space flight regulation, impression sphere of influence. Uh, okay, space flight regulation, so be it. Well, he's not making the victory easy. He is just clearly going for a domination victory. And he's trying to block all the other options as much as possible. Twenty five percent cost for engineers. That's pretty noticeable. But if we go for the science victory, if we like can get late enough into the game that uh, a science victory will be an option, then the production won't be an issue. I think here it's about can we uh defend ourselves against the constant attacks coming from mongolia at this point if we can survive that we should be able to get the science victory i think because of all the free tag that we should get if we play it well <clears throat> The sub country will leave the city, destroyers would see it, so I'm just gonna send it this way. Fortify, fortify. This should be okay, we can just sit here, soak up some experience. Okay, next. We are about to get an engineer. Let's see what we can do with him. We'll just probably keep him. We have the CN Tower. We have, what's the other one? Uh, the Sydney Opera House that we want to build. So we're definitely going to need some extra protection. Okay, so it seems that the rifleman will have to move out of here after all.
I... Maybe let's actually swap these two. Can't reach the rifleman. Damn it. I'd have to send the cruiser. I'm sure that I want to do that. How fast are these Brazilian ships? Five. Yeah, that's in the range. And once we get the, the board of the debuff, then the, the, the cruiser is gone. I'll move one tile closer for next turn, but it will stay here. So let's check the proposals. Space flight regulation passes. Everyone was for this one. Well, that's not a big surprise. Um, interesting. He didn't even vote for his own proposal. And World's Fair passes. Huh. So one turn before we get Bletchley, we have to switch to the World's Fair. We can't afford to wait even though one turn. World's Fair might actually be completed in one turn. I have to make sure that I get enough for at least bronze. Okay, how many shots do I get here? One, two... You can go to the city, fortify. This guy should die, I think. There we go. Okay, proposals. Cold War is not gonna help us checking that if it maybe gives some positive modifiers for saves with the same ideology, but it doesn't. This is something we want to do. Everyone hates United Nations. Well, diplomatic victory is not gonna happen. But I think I will do the uh, global liberation. Especially if we could break uh, the. Persian Mongolia alliance. It's an enforced alliance, but still an alliance. If you could break that, that would be great. That would keep Mongols busy again for a while. Because it's not easy to go after these cities. Terrain is horrible there. How are the spies doing? Five, two, uh, no, two turns that's uh, in Washington. Five turns. Okay, next.
Oh wait, I would have to be right next to the ship. Mm. Might be better to just kill it like this. How many range ships does he have around here? Just these two cruisers? Fine, the rifleman can stay. I'll check the tile assignments uh, off camera. How is the uh, world's fair going? 44. Can I see my contribution somewhere? Your civilization has contributed 1438. And we need 1875. Okay, we can get that. Oh, and the game crashed. Great. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back in the game. Exactly uh, where the game crashed. I replayed, I had to replay one whole turn, but uh, wasn't really a problem replaying everything exactly the same way. The problem is when I started recording again, the game crashed in the same place. And I think we may have a pretty serious problem here. So I'm just going to end the episode here. And, um, during the time that I'm taking off during those two days, I will try to figure out how to get through this problem. Usually it's just getting through that one turn where the problem is. My guess is that's the World's Fair. Uh, when uh, it's completed, when it gets the amount of production it needs, it somehow crushes the game or... I don't know, well, I didn't actually notice uh, where exactly the game crashes, if it's still the end of our turn or if it's during one, during the turn of one of the AIs. So I'll have to check that and I'll have to come up with uh, a solution. We had this problem or similar problems a couple of times before. I always managed to find some, some kind of workaround and uh, we were able to continue. The only time we were not able to do it was on the on the map, on the large map that we played as Rome. But there it was just because of the size of the map and it was much, much, much later in the game. So that uh, the issue there was different. Here it's just something else, a bug that we have to uh, play around. I have to figure out what exactly it is and how to avoid it. I may actually replay uh, this whole episode. Uh, if it's the world um, uh, World's Fair, I may actually stop it in the Congress. Uh, just use all my, all my votes against it this time and just never build it, which is pretty annoying. That will just uh, cancel basically one whole round of proposals for us since we would be would have to vote against our own proposal that we kind of need that free social policy we can get from that also that extra culture from the world's fair is pretty important if you want to get the culture victory and that the also the tenant we would get from it would help us with the tourism so that would be a big deal if we couldn't get uh, couldn't get it at all in the game uh, or at least in this game but uh, well, if that means uh, we'll be able to progress, that's what we have to do. But as I said, I'll have to like keep, or not keep, I'll have to check uh, where exactly the problem happens and hopefully they will tell me how to get around it. So I hope that next time we see each other, it's still going to be in this series that I will find uh, the solution for this bug. And yeah, I still hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.